Hello again. So, in part one, we rolled the Svema Ukrainian film on those rolls. Uh, it took me a long time. I mean, those rolls have been sitting on my desk for months. I'm sorry, I, I was occupied with many other stuff and um, I just had them there and said, oh, I, I couldn't decide in which uh, camera I should put them on. Uh, so let me show you what I did. Uh, so I rolled two of them. Um, one uh, as it should, I, say, I would say. Um, and the first one, I, I was I was in a bit confused in the dark, and uh, I uh, un turned it, uh, rewind it completely. So this is the other part, yes. <laughs> and in fact, that might be useful on some cameras. Because on some cameras, to to uh, to make a start, you have to use that part, a part like that, uh, and on some others, it's uh, the more classical one um, when it uh, starts uh, on the short side, uh, half uh, a film, and then it, it's a full film. Here you see uh, the other side, which I rolled. So I've got those two films now. Um, and I have to decide um, in which uh, camera I'm going to, uh, which camera I'm going to use to, to, to shoot the film, and then I will shoot and, and show you the results. Uh, uh, so, well, I thought this is um, a, a Soviet era film. So, uh, well, uh, let's look at uh, Soviet era uh, cameras. Um, so just look at a few of them and uh, I took three cameras and we are going to decide today uh, which one I'm going to use right so what do I have here start with, with the one which is open this is a, a Practica B200 uh, with a uh, what's on it i think it's a, it's a rather good objective this is a practical uh wine 1.4 50 so a very um a very uh bright uh objective and i like it because it it, it gives some very uh uh interesting results a lot of bokeh this is a east uh german uh camera uh, Practica B200 and uh, well um, that's an option um, maybe it's a bit too new and it's uh, it's the East German one well constructed uh, I might have a film still inside I'm not sure because when I put a film so generally I I put a label on, so I got to check that. But that, that's an option. That's a that's a, a good option because I know the camera. I know it's it performs well, and uh, uh, should should give me some. Uh, at least I can I can uh, use a camera I trust uh, to to make a to make a, a a good shooting. Right, first option. Uh, second option is um, a very classical uh, toy camera which is the Svema uh, 8M and it's uh, it's a Lomo camera so uh, if you know Lomography this is the the, the, the name that used it's a very um, well-known uh, brand and uh, I guess what I heard uh, in the Soviet Union uh, every kid had such a camera at least once uh, uh, for his birthday uh, and uh, it's a very 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 simple camera but the, the objective is quite good. I mean, it's a, it's a glass objective, and uh, it's uh, very simple to use. I mean, you just advance the thing like that, and uh, it uh, connects here, so it, you see the, the film advancing here, and then you, you, you cock the camera here, yes, and you shoot. Okay, uh, not a lot of control. Uh, you can change the, you know, uh, I, th I guess this is a dia diaphragm, 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 ah, diaphragm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, from sunny to cloudy. So I guess uh, when it's uh, yeah, when uh, when you do that, you you open it, and when you do that, you close it, uh, right? 
and then you can uh, select uh, the what's that oh oh it's it's the same ring anyway so it gives you uh, 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 either uh, the one fifteen of second is the one for cloudy let's check that yeah and if you go to uh, on the other side 250 sunny yeah okay so it's just uh, I don't think there's a change of diaphragm oh, sorry I can't say that correctly it's just the speed uh, that is affected which is okay uh, no control over ISO there's a control here I guess it's for distance yes from infinite to uh, to uh, 1.2 meter 1 meter so 1 meter here maybe 0 0.8 meter up to infinity and you've got some pictogram 4 meters is a group of persons uh, between uh, 1.2 and 1.5 meter is a uh, uh, portrait okay and uh, or one even portrait okay some pictograms to to so that's in a distance uh, scenery is about here which is okay so you've got rough estimates uh, for distance uh, rough estimates uh, and you only have control over the speed and uh, which is quite good you've got a B pose let's see if that works it works so as my uh, film has a very low uh, sensitivity I might use the B pose if I'm taking that camera and I see I can connect here there's a little screw so maybe I can connect a, a, a remote mechanical remote uh, so I can take long exposure so it's, it's quite okay um, what is good with that camera um, is that it's very easy uh, that's considered that can be considered as a drawback uh, in fact in in case of uh, the use of that camera now it's quite an advantage is um, you you cock here and then you shoot and if you don't advance the film and cock again and shoot again then you get double exposure and if you cock again and shoot again and triple exposure and so on uh, and in that case can be quite good because as the film has very low sensitivity uh, I might do that sometimes just make du double triple uh, uh, multiple explosion with a I say a low speed and see what happens so it's good it's good to experiment I haven't tried it yet and uh, let's see inside I will tried it yet that's an option because I like to experiment and I think yes this one uh, it might be an advantage uh, that I, uh, I accidentally roll it like that because uh, I think sometimes it's easier yes to insert it like that would work it would work so uh, we could try that one okay let's see we'll agree. that's that's an option uh, I return that option if you don't mind and that's a anyway that's a good camera to uh, to have a <laughs> Uh, either uh, no control or limited control or uh, well you can you can be creative with it so so that's what lomographers do like it it's very simple um, it's known also to have some light leaks um, some like it uh, I don't personally uh, like it a lot so one solution for that is uh, you can tape that with black tape around it so that it uh, it prevents any light leaks and uh, accidental uh, opening of a case while you're shooting sometimes it takes me months to finish a film so uh, if there's light leaks and the camera stays on my desk for a long time it's not that good so I think I will I will definitely go for that one uh, Lomo as a start um, 
I will put one film in that in that camera, and uh, and uh, that, that's 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 for sure one I, I reserve. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, well, the next one is also a, a classical uh, a classical uh, camera, which is a Zorki. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, it's a Zorki Four. So the Zorki Four is. Um, it's a very nice camera. It's a it's a it's a Leica copy, you know, uh, with a uh, I think it's a yellow filter I have on it. Let me check. I have to to uh, clean it anyway. Uh, what kind of filter? It's a Voigtlander filter, West Germany. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It's a, it's a, just a UV filter just to protect the the objective which is I think an Indestar uh, I'm not sure but I think it's an Indestar uh, I have to clean that before I shoot but uh, uh, I do that often you know you get some dust when you don't use that all the time uh, this is a very nice camera uh, very sturdy very heavy uh, it makes good good pictures uh, it's totally mechanical. You've got also a limited control. Uh, you can um, select the speed uh, and just basically shoot. Uh, so uh, and you just uh, turn like that, and then you're able to shoot, right? Let's see. So, uh, what are the controls on that one? Uh, you can select the distance here from again uh, 0 0.8 meters to infinity. And what else? You can select the di diaphragm. Uh, oh, yeah, what's the name in English? Uh, the opening diaphragm. Uh, yeah, mm, aperture. Ah, I was looking for the name in English. Aperture. You can select the aperture here. 4, 5, 6, 8, uh, 11, 16 and uh, sorry I talked about diaphragm uh, in French and it's aperture for the previous camera I'm sorry about that um, and you can select the speed um, I remember one has to be careful about the order um, and I'm not sure I've got I always have to check again because I know if you uh, rewind before you shoot or if you shoot before or you change the speed before you rewind or reverse i've got to check when you got a problem with that camera so you have to be very careful to do that in a correct order and before doing it i will before shooting I always check before um, so this is uh, uh, if you use that camera be sure to check that on the internet um, but again, this is a very simple camera. You just put the, the roll film and uh, you've got control on uh, aperture, speed, up to uh, 1000, which is okay, and uh, distance, uh, roughly uh, estimating it. So again, this is a camera with uh, absolutely no cell, so it's good. I will have to use the F16 rule or uh, make my calculation in my head, which is always uh, fun especially when you experiment um, so I have the choice to make between a very old one with no control or an electronic one from East Germany which I know and works fine um, I'm not sure uh, to be honest I'm not sure to be honest uh, this one is a reflex so and this one is a, a telemetric so you've got two 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 things in, and you you select the distance. Oh, oh is there a control here? Uh, yes, yes. Again, when you, you move that, <coughs> sorry, uh, you see uh, two pictures uh, going together. So is uh, for the range the range finder telemetric is range finder, and uh, to load it, it's a bit a pain in the ass. Uh, again, part of my French. Uh, so, because you have to open it. Oh shit! Where was the camera? Where's the film inside? Ah, oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. I ruined it. Ah oh, yes. Ah. Oh. 
Oh god. That's uh that's the uh, that's me. I'm just putting films everywhere and then forgetting them. Okay. So I ruined the film anyway. <laughs> so I think uh, So hello again. Uh well after ruining my film on that Zorki 4 uh, I guess it's the the, the, the things adds up because uh, my SD card uh, went to uh, the end I didn't notice it so I filmed um, about a quarter of an hour of recording uh, footages and, and talking and talking and explaining what I was going to do and lose everything so <laughs> uh, this is my lucky day anyway to summarize what I said and what you missed, I decided to go with the Zmena 8M uh, for many reasons. Uh, first, it's fun to put a Zvema film in a Zmena uh, camera. I think it's uh, it's 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 uh, it's uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is I haven't tried it yet. So the, the two others I tried already. This is new. This is one, well, new. This is a camera I bought recently, so I always wanted to try that simple camera. And uh, I've got all manual controls I need. I mean, I just can go uh, even on B pose. Uh, so um, uh, we've, uh, uh, there's a tripod mount, so I can put that on a tripod because, again, this is a very sensitive film. Um, I'm going to. It's a 64 ISO uh, film. I'm going to shoot it at 25 ISO because I think it's uh, very old, 25 years old. Uh, we might need some additional uh, time of exposure due to the low source uh, sensitivity. And uh, using that, that method, uh, the tripod and this simple mount, I can I can bracket. I mean, I can go uh, first with uh, some. Uh, 160 for a second, uh, what do I have here, 140 for se of a second, 115 and then use the B pose to make longer exposure like one second, two seconds uh, depending on the on the light conditions and for the same situation uh, with a tripod I can try different times so what I propose is to use that uh, put it on a tripod and maybe select a few sceneries with different f mm, settings on the camera just to experiment and see what it does uh, with a sound film and different settings and uh, this is a very simple camera for that I might be tempted to try some multiple exposure also because it's as I said it's very easy to do you just have to cock the shutter and, and shoot I looked at the footage before and I saw I was a bit blurry on the, on, uh, on, uh, on some movies uh, again sorry but uh, uh, you know, I'm an amateur. I'm just sharing what I like, so I, I decided to keep it like that because, um, well, it's just sharing and discussing, and uh, I'll try to improve and get better movies uh, next time. But I thought it was good enough for that one. What I did, uh, though, I taped here. Um, it, uh, by the way, it was a bit of a of a of a of a hassle to put it inside because it's very plastic. Uh, stuff and uh, to have it in uh, to put the film in it uh, it was not wasn't easy so I've got I had to tape it a bit inside so that it holds and and then I decided to to tape here and here and and here uh, to to prevent some light leaks uh, because uh, you know uh, sometimes I, um, I first I don't really like light leaks I don't like the look of it. Sometimes it can be fun, uh, but uh, that's not what I prefer. Uh, that's a reason. Another reason is, uh, as you see, sometimes I I put a camera with film in it. I have so many cameras with so many films, but a camera I can sit on the uh, in the corner of my room, and uh, I'm I'm not shooting for weeks uh, even months and uh, okay if there is a light leak uh, for a long period of time then it it might ruin ruin the, the film totally so i prefer to to seal it a bit but then uh, i had you waiting uh, for a long time between the part one and part two uh, so part one was the film and rolling the film part two is choosing your camera and uh, part three is uh, will be uh, having a longer look at the uh, results um, uh, so tell me if you like that kind of uh, movies or videos 
Um, I'll come back to you as soon as I can, as soon as the weather allows to make some uh, uh, good conditions so that there is l enough light and it's not uh, a grey day. Uh, uh, shooting in black and white in a grey day is not always uh, fun, especially at 25 ISO I need some light. So I will look for a day with uh, good conditions and try to shoot the whole film so that I get rid of that and I can develop it. I don't know the specification of the, the film to develop it, so I think I can find that on the internet and, and, and see what's uh, more adapted. Or what I do in that case, uh, I might do that, is just stand development. A stand development is you, you just put a very limited amount of, of uh, developer, uh, generally Rodinal, in, a, in a, a very, very small amount and then you uh, you just let it develop for an hour or two hours or even days and uh, it's just the developers for these lazy guys which i can be sometime so i might do that and also in that case you don't have to worry too much about uh, the specification you, you just as there are so many developer inside development um, uh, um, uh, liquid in it, uh, it just exhausts, and and then you get uh, uh, it's it's okay. You can leave it for uh, one hour and, and two hours, three hours doesn't make any difference. So I might do that. Um, I'll let you know uh, uh, if you think I should shoot with a Zorki or the B two hundred, or tell me if I should uh, select maybe another type of camera for the. Uh, for the next roll, just tell me and uh, I will also shoot that based on your advice. So thank you for uh, uh, listening to me for so long and I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing that uh, kind of movie and I, uh, I hope you, you, you like it. So uh, if you like it, make a thumbs up and uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and uh, I will try to uh, post more in 2020. That's one of the decisions I took this year to post more, more videos uh, because uh, it's fun to share. So uh, let's follow on that and uh, I will try to post more. Thank you and bye bye.